Hey guys, you just let us know about Shazam! Fury of the Gods. We got a bunch of trailer reactions coming to you. And this is the one relatively bright spot for big DC fans like me. As you can see what I'm wearing, I'm not too happy with what happened. But maybe this trailer will cheer me up, alright? Here, let's watch it together in three, uh, two, one, go! He's an idiot. <laughs> I think the WB executives are idiots. I'm going to talk over it just a little bit. <laughs> uh, yes. What? Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck. Motherfucker can't even fly. It's funny, though. Nice. Uh, continue in the family. That's good. He's in therapy. <laughs> Close enough. <gasps> Annabelle. Oh, and Eminem. They're definitely putting this on mute. So here are the vil- What? <laughs> Those are the villains? Okay. Could be fun. Oh! Family joke. Family. Should be eating breadsticks. <laughs> nice. The wizard's back. A dragon. That's cool that they're doing it centered around family. But a CGI dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did you guys think? I mean, it nails the the kind of almost fish out of water thing that Miss Marvel was kind of trying to do, you know, yeah. where it's just like, well, what happens when a fan of DC becomes a DC superhero? And I think that they really, really nail that atmosphere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm worried about the, the balance between like, I, I really like Shazam and I think his family's cool. Mm -hmm. um, like what is the, ba what is the balance going to be? Like how much of it is it Shazam? How much is it the team, the family team? Yeah. But That's what I, was thinking about I too. trust these people because they made a pretty solid movie the last time around. Like I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now and say that this this looks pretty good. Yeah, what do you think, Joe? No, same. It looks pretty good. I was just worried about the how much screen time everyone's going to get and all that stuff. Yeah, you got that's six super-powered Shazam-like beings. You know, part of me is like, that's so cool that they're retaining the Marvel family, right? But then part of me is like, I want to kind of be a little selfish mm -hmm. and I just wanted to focus on Shazam. And, and I don't really care about all these other generic, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you got the power of fucking Ares or Zeus, whatever. You know, I just, I just, no, Shazam, right? Uh, you know, you have the speed, you do the speed and you do this. But the story potential is there. The family potential is great. And so if you are going to do it, this is how you do it, I think. However, um, I'm a little worried about the villains here. Uh, you know, is it is it going to be enough to have, um, you know, a CGI dragon and then some, you know, uh, vaunted actresses that are legendary of their craft, but are they good at, you know, superhero films it feels like you're just kind of plucking them out and then they're just yeah. throwing them there it feels a little out of place to me for some reason uh but yeah so hey man this is uh, got something to say about the shazam but other than that it just it looks good it looks like it retains the fun factor and the excitement of the original but 
Uh, and honestly, you got the wizard here that seems maybe imprisoned and trying to get help from uh, the family. And two random uh, museum goers, as soon as they put these helmets on, yeah. then they turn into the old ladies. And then, you know, um, are we going? Here's what I'm concerned. Are we going to see a CGI Lucy Lou? Are we going to see a CGI, oh, no. you know, uh, just going at it <laughs> toe to toe and, and fist of cuffs? And you think that's going to happen mid day? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. It looks exciting. I'm excited for it. I, this is not what I wanted for Shazam 2. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to kind of have a. This is where you incorporate him kind of into the fold if they were kind of doing connect, yep. connected movies. Like you either bring Henry in here or you bring in The Rock. Or I didn't. I think that having an unknown villain for Shazam's origin story totally fine. Mm -hmm. Now that he's hit, you know, you know, we're sophomore year Shazam. Give him a real villain that people are familiar with. Exactly. Thank you. They tease that little caterpillar dude at the end of it, and this doesn't seem like it. It seems – what's interesting to me is this seems like a detour. Now, the trailer is good for it, and it looks fun. But it's – like Alex said, it's not really what I was hoping for. Um, it would be getting people more excited if you teased, you know, The Rock or, or Superman. Of course, if you did those things, you want to keep it secret and you want to have it be revealed. I personally think Shazam! Fury of the Gods will have a small teaser at the end with, uh, you know, Black Adam. I mean, they even reference Black Adam in the first Shazam, so they're definitely you have to rec something. you have to reference it again in the second one, especially since the the film will have come out. Um, so I think it's there, and that is something to look forward to. But DC's fucking it up with regards to soups. You know, I don't think soups is going to be mentioned because they're still like working it out. Like, what is going on there? Just give Henry his money. It's what the fans want. It's what people are, are excited about. He deserves a chance uh, again, especially after starting the DCEU. But then, but then simultaneously, WB is like, yeah, we're not doing any more DCEU. Or no, we're not doing any more Snyderverse, which technically just means Snyder as a director. Because you still have Snyderverse characters, DCEU characters in sequels. So it should be all right to bring Superman back. Because if you get the big three, you get Shazam, Superman, and Black Adam right, then we're, we're, we're operating. And, and we're doing good in the DC universe. Um, especially with good Aquaman films and hopefully better Wonder Woman films. But it's hard to get excited about a CGI dragon and... Some actresses that are fucking fantastic that we know from other films, but not necessarily, you know. Hey, look, Helen Mirren was in the right. best DC movie of all time in Red. So that technically is. You're right. That technically and is I, a comic I, I book movie. I honestly believe that Red is the tightest, best overall DC comic movie of ah, all it's time. It's been so long it since is I've so seen good. it. Yeah, you like it? Oh yeah. All right, guys, tell us what you think of a Fury of the Gods. You excited for it? <laughs> it's, it's trending. It looks great. Yeah, so people, I think, are in agreement with us that it looks good. Zachary, of course, uh, 100%. Um, might be better than the first. I don't know, Ooh. man. I really love that first movie. I, I think the first one's going to be better. I think this is going to be cool. But it, this is just, like I said, it feels like a side thing. It doesn't feel like a proper sequel. It feels like, hey, this is a side story, and then we're going to get back on track with once at the end of it. We're going to show Black Adam, and we're going to tie everything together. Notice how DC are playing this. They keep them funny at all times. The actual thing is uh, his real maturity comes when he faces Black Adam, and that's the way it should be. Like It wakes him up, snaps him to reality. Like You will get your fucking ass killed and killed when you go against Black Adam. Though I think... Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam is going to be a little funnier, a little kinder than, than than what you would see in a comic book Black Adam, unfortunately. Even as much as they talk about how, no, we're doing the anti-hero. We'll see. It's P rated PG or PG-13. You're not doing true anti -hero. Yeah, and you know what? Since we're here and since it's a fucking third trailer for Black Adam, let me just put the, the, the Comic-Con trailer right here. Since it's only a minute long, we'll react to it, uh, the sneak peek right now. Three, two... One, go. Up. Oh, three. Uh, let me do it again. Three, two, one, go. 
All right. He is f flying using his electricity. Without the cape, looks ridiculous. Black blood, because they're probably not going to show any red blood. So they can do as much black tar as they want. Smash the wing. We've seen that scene. A transformation of Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks great. Or its savior? Ah, oh, it's so easy to predict. The world needed a hero. You got me? Instead, it got me. That's. <laughs> I haven't even seen that trailer, you know. Holy shit, he just said, get the fuck out of here, Hawkman. Yeah, you are in a tier below me. Go the fuck away. That thing hits with the power and weight of the earth, too. And he just grabs it. <laughs> like, nope. Wow. All right, well, uh, he, he, that was action-packed. But that's what fucking, you know, Rock was like, get excited for, right? And that's what they brought to the panel. Honestly, that's kind of a disappointment. Yeah, he showed up in full costume, and they had this cool effect, but... I don't know. What'd y'all think? You got booed. Uh, I think that his costume, the more I look at it, looks kind of awkward. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's bad. I mean, he's I huge he's, and he's muscly, but the thing is, like, he's wearing a superhero he's costume. He's dirty on purpose. Eventually, yeah. that will clean up as, as the film goes on. Yeah, it's less the dirtiness and more that it's like he's wearing an the skin tight suit with like no like normally there's like a cape or something else that yeah the that cape kinda, needs to happen but it kind of just looks a little weird but maybe that's just me no i'm with you i i, I think so too joe um i this was never was really excited for this movie like this it still doesn't make me excited and i'm just like okay well I'm and that's concerning intrigued. more intrigued yeah, if you aren't hyped. excited for it then yeah <laughs> Yeah, and I know it's a dream project of The Rock, and I want it to do well, and I am going to buy two tickets to support it above and beyond because I want it to do well in the blo uh, you know, blockbuster because that gives more power to uh, Dwayne Johnson and to get things done that he wants to get done, and hopefully he wants to see – he wants to go up against Superman. He said it countless times, um, and w that's more and more likely the better it does. If this movie comes out and flops – Holy shit. We are going to have a major issue in the DC uh Even worse than it is now. And it's already bad. So I got I got to go support my man The Rock. If it's good, I, I will support it if it's good. Yeah. If if it's good, I might see it a third time. <laughs> but if it's bad, I've seen it twice. All right. I, I've already committed to that because on Twitter, you know, he's really been campaigning for the right things. And I hope that it, it works out for it. Anyway, so that's our trailer reaction for the Comic-Con sneak peek of uh, uh, Black Adam. I think it's just it's just time. It's just time. Let's see these things come out um, and, and get it going. So release date on uh, Black Adam, October 21st. So. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.